Good morning everyone, so I'm back again. Today I am going to show you this fantastic camera from Arenti, which is in one full HD 1080p indoor camera. So why is it so amazing? Well, this camera is so simple to use and to set up and it has some amazing function. You know, for example, night vision, human detection with the artificial intelligence technology. So you can also detect the sound, and of course you can use the privacy mode whenever you want to turn on and off the camera or you know other function like um, geofencing function where when you come home and you use the same wi-fi network as your camera with your phone the lens will be off automatically so and of course more than that you can also use alexa voice control to control the camera to see what's going on you know and of course it's also compatible with Google Assistant. All right, so I have just opened the box and these are the things that are included in the box, okay? So you're gonna get the camera itself, the USB cable, the screws, the power adapter, and the user manual, okay? All right, so this is the camera itself, okay? So you are going to see the lens, which is here. LED indicator light is here. And on the back side, you're gonna see the USB port reset button, um, SD card slot, and of course, the microphone is here, okay? So the next step, I am going to show you how to pair the camera with the mobile device, okay? Okay, now I am going to show you how to pair the camera to your mobile device, okay? It is very simple, you can easily follow the instructions on the user manual, or you can also um, follow the prompt message on the screen, okay? First of all, you're going to have to download the app to your mobile device. If you are an Android user, you have to go to um, Play Store and then go to the search tab, click on it and look for RNP app, okay? But if you are iOS user, you have to go to App Store and do the same. And once you download the app to your phone, you have to um, open the app and sign up for an account, alright? Once you size up for an account, you're gonna get the, of course, account and click on the top left corner of the screen and go to the devices. Okay, in the middle of the screen, you're gonna see the um, add icon. You click on it and then choose camera. Please power on the device. Okay, I just power on the device and clicking on next. Please reset the device by holding the reset button for five seconds. Wait for the indicator light to flash red. Okay, so you just have to press and hold the reset button on the camera for a few seconds. Okay, once you hear the sound, you release the uh, button and then click on next. Select the Wi-Fi network you want to sync with. Please choose a 2.4G network, then enter your network password. Okay, so you have to choose the right um, Wi-Fi network, okay? It has to be 2.4G. The 5G one is not compatible with our system. So once you choose the right network, you click on it, um, the space here where you can insert your password. And if you successfully um, insert the password, then you click on next. Please remove the protective film from your camera lens. Tap next to show your QR code. Then hold the code in front of the camera lens at a distance of five to eight inches. Okay, so I have just removed the protector from the camera lens and now I'm going to click on next to show the QR code on the screen. Okay, and then you present it to the camera lens. Once you hear the sound, you have to click on notification tone heard. Connecting. Please wait a moment. Alright, now the camera and the um, device are connecting. So in a few seconds, you're going to see um, the device on the screen with some um, random name like this for example if you want to change it you click on the pen icon there okay and then you change to whatever name you want in this case I don't, I don't want to change it so I click OK okay and then done and then you're gonna see the preview screen here it is the main page of the you know overview of the devices that you have you click on it okay then you're gonna see the video streaming Okay, so if you notice, then um, uh, 
I'm getting a message popping up on the screen now because I said motion detection on so I just click OK and then I click turn it off here again okay and if you want to see the history of the video you click on it okay cloud of course if you um, activate the cloud service then you're gonna get to see um, the timeline the video, video history of in the timeline okay so as you can see down below there are four different icons there where you can you know try it and check it out together with me okay the first one is to uh, do the screenshot of the video streaming now if you click on it see let's make the screenshot of the, of the streaming and um, the second one is to make a video record when you click on it start recording see the red spot on the screen now and you if you click on it again it stop recording right and the third one is the microphone if you press and hold the microphone icon you're gonna be able to speak with people on the other side I mean people who are you know closer to the camera and then first of all I'm gonna to show you now okay testing see and if you release your finger on the then it stop you know um, sending message and the fourth one is the speaker all right so I'm turning it off now because if I turn it on then it's going to make some echo sound okay and if you go to the top right of the screen you're gonna see three dots you click on it and it has so many different features okay the first one receive alert notifications this one is really useful for example if you want to turn on the notification alert but then you don't want to get the message you can you know turn it off here okay. then you can um, device share you can share the live video streaming with your friends or family device information okay you're gonna see all this information here and you click on it basic function there are some you know useful function that you can use you can turn it on and off here by clicking on it okay night vision you can set it off and on or automatic all right for example if the camera detects some low light it's going to um, set to the night vision for you okay sleep mode you can turn off the camera immediately or turn it on or privacy schedule means that you can you know set the date and time okay for um, the camera to be turning off geofence means um, if you turn it on whenever you come home or you go to the office you use the same Wi-Fi network as your camera then um, the lens will be automatically off okay so in this case I'm going to turn the lens on all right so sleep mode as um, we have just discussed and uh, display the box of people detection is going to show you know a square box when it detects some human on the screen okay so SD card of course if you have it inserted then you're gonna have to see these functions here you can set it full day recording or even recording okay I mean capacity and cloud storage service you can activate it okay you can try it three months for free if you like it you can also continue to subscribe to the service Amazon Echo of course you can you know connect with Amazon Echo or Google Assistant all right so of course you can always try it out uh, what features you want to try it if you have any question you can easily contact us we would be very happy to help you with anything you want to know or to learn about it you know so um, yeah I hope you like it and thank you so much for watching